hope you like my Halloween decorations. I put a lot of effort into them. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Hi everybody, it's me, Maddie, and welcome back to another video. If I'm quiet, it's because it's 11, 18 at night, and I filmed this earlier today, but I don't like the way it turned out. So I'm gonna refilm it today. And um, yeah, here I am. So basically, last month, I introduced my new TBR game based on the game of life. It's called Life of TBR, and I had a lot of fun playing it, so I'm really excited to play it again this month. But after I edited that video and scheduled it to go up, I found a, another person's YouTube channel, and they have a game like this. It's called like the game of Megan. Is that what her name is? I don't know what her name is or her channel name, but I will leave linked in the description box a link to where you can find her most recent TBR. She plays a version of life as well um, to choose her TBR books for the month. So if October is her most recent, then I will leave October link down below. But if her November TBR is up before mine is, then I will leave her uh, November TBR down below. I am her. I, I like her TBR game. She put a lot more effort into hers than I did, I feel like. Uh, she actually has like color coded squares and I'm just using the same exact board so I would definitely recommend checking out hers and I also want to say that I know this video is probably going to be really long but at the end of this TBR I'm going to go over my Believeathon TBR really quick. Believeathon is a, read -a, a month long readathon taking place um, throughout the entire month of November and November is a really busy month for me because I'm doing English and English is a really hard subject, which you wouldn't think, but I and I get so stressed while writing essays, it's not really good. Like, it's not good. Uh, anybody who's been to school with me, they've seen that side of me, and that side comes out when I'm doing English essays. And, um, I, 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 it's, it's not good. So I'm doing English, and then, uh, this, I'm doing this readathon, and it's also nano, so it's a really busy month. And, uh, I don't know how it's going to go. So, without further ado, let's talk about the books I read in October. Or, based, let's talk about the books I had to read for October. So, these were the four books I had to read in October. I read these two. I did not read these two. Let me talk about this real quick. So, for Out of My Mind by Sharon M. Japper, this was to read a popular book. I started this, and it's, I still have a few days left in October. Uh... When I'm filming this so I started this um, and I felt bored because this I've read this book three times right so this would be my fourth time reading it and it's very it's still very prevalent in my mind even though it's been two years since I read it last time so it's still like really up there in my mind and I just don't want to have to force myself to read one of my favorite middle grades and like one of my favorite books of all time because I want to enjoy it and uh, I just, I don't want to push myself, so that's why I didn't, I haven't read this yet. I don't know if I, I might still pick it up in October. I will just have to see how I feel. Maybe I'll want a cozy middle grade, but I haven't read this yet because I, I know what's going to happen. I know this book cover to cover, you know, chapter to chapter. I know this book, I know this book really well. So I was kind of bored when I started it and I don't want to push myself to read one of my favorite books and not enjoy it as much. So that's why I didn't pick this up. And then I read these two books. If you want to hear my opinions on these two books, uh, watch my October, my September and October wrap up, which is coming up next Monday. But I gave The Wizards of Ones three stars and I gave A Kiss in the Dark four stars. Mm -hmm. You watched last month's TBR? Yeah, that's that's surprising, isn't it? Uh, I did not read Rage of Dragons. I was really, really excited for this book, but I just, I'm not reading it this month. Uh, I only got 44 pages into it, so I really got far into it, guys. Yeah, uh, this is not a permanent DNF. It's just, it's a temporary DNF. I just, I don't know if I'm not in the mood for fantasy because... I've kind of, like, kind of like this second half of the year, I've kind of been like reading a fantasy book and then 
not reading a fantasy book and like DNFing a lot of fantasy books um, and reading some books that I don't usually tend to read and loving them so much. So I don't know, if, I think I might just be a little bit bored with fantasy, so uh, especially heavy, high, war focused fantasy. So that's why I'm not going to force myself to read this and neither. Neither of these books are going on to my November TBR for the fact that November is super busy and I don't want to reread this right now. I want to take a break from it so I enjoy it more when I do finally get around to rereading it. And I, I, want, I'm take, I, I want to take a breather from fantasy, especially really high fantasy this month. So, yes, there is an update on last month's TBR. Now, uh, let's get into the fun part. Let's get into my rolls. Yay! All right. Roll number one. Here's to, I got dice, you know? Beautiful. Uh, but <laughs> roll number one. Here's to hoping that these line up for middle grades because uh, it is uh, <laughs> now and believe it's on round number three. So, here we go. Three. One, two, three. <laughs> Then again, okay. Five. One, two, three, four. Let's go. Uh, let's go this way. So we have a five. Okay, and then we're gonna go to our prompts. Beautiful. I added so many prompts. Okay. I'm nervous, I'm nervous, because some of these prompts I don't want this month. If I get reread a book, I am going to pick a new prompt, because I do have books on my shelf that I do want to reread, but I don't want to reread any of them this month, so uh, let's hope we don't get reread, because I don't want that. All right, here we go. Um, I'm thinking this one. All right, are you ready, guys? Are you ready, kids? You made a new friend. Read a new author. <gasps> okay. This is perfect. This is literally going to fit so well. And <sniffs> gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. All right. So for the first roll, I got dice. Uh, I, 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 I'm glad I got dice. <laughs> but for the first prompt, we had, you've made a new friend, which is to read a new author. And hopefully I can call this person like a, a new friend, right? So for this, I picked The School for Good and Evil by Somain Chiani. I do not know how to pronounce his name, and I'm so sorry if I completely butchered it. But I've owned this for many years. I've owned this since fifth grade, I think. And back in fifth grade, I wasn't really into reading. Um, but I've owned this for a while. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> but it's kind of raggedy, and the pages are, like, not white, you know, they're not white pages, but I've owned this for a long time, and I think I got less than like 50 pages into this one, um, before I put it back down in fifth grade, but I wasn't really into reading, um, in fifth grade, and the main reason I want to pick this up right now is because I was watching somebody's book, like, uh, Becca's Bogopolathon TBR in September, and they put like the sixth book, I can't think of who they are right now, I'm so sorry, but they put like the sixth book in this series on their TBR, and they said that like these entire books you're kind of just like coasting, and then the plot twists like blow your mind, and I was like, <laughs> mind blowing plot twists, yes please, so yes. I, I like a good plot twist, so I'm really excited to read this now. I don't have high expectations because, like sh that person said, like you're kind of just like sitting here, just trying to get through it the first half, but then the plot twist, the plot twist, right? So uh, hopefully I'll have a very, very good plot twist. That's what I'm hoping for, anyways. Roll number two, four, one, two, three, four. Okay. Just a normal car. We've never landed on a payday. Uh, prompts, prompts, prompts. So many prompts. Let's pick this one. It seems to be standing out. And this is... You got your... Oh, yes, 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 Oh, my God, this is working out so good. This is actually a, like, uh, like... 
action card in the actual game of life is you got your children book your children's book published uh, and this is where I got this idea from this prompt specifically is you got your book published read a middle grade so beautiful lovely ah, another great prompt this is working out so good don't want to jinx myself but we're working out so good right now so good for prompt number two we got to we got you your book got published uh, read a middle grade. So I actually took this from the Game of Life game. And basically that, it was an action card that said your children's book got published. Like, spin the wheel to determine how much you, the, bank, the bank pays you. Like, whatever, you know? So I actually, this is one of the first prompts I actually wrote because I got that idea. So for this, I'm going to be reading the third book in the Nevermore series. This is a placeholder because I don't have the third book in my possession yet. It comes out the 27th of October, um, and that is Hollow Pox by Jessica Townsend. I'm very excited for this. I, re I read the Nevermore series. Sorry, I had so much trouble picking this book up, but I read the Nevermore series um, early last year, like in February, and I love them to death. They are my favorite books of last year, correct? Correct. And so this year I reread this in February and I reread Hollow Pox with my granny um, in September. September. It's only September? Wow. And um, because I reread uh, Wondersmith, like my excitement for Hollow Pox got up, like my got raised. So I'm back to being really excited. My excitement was really low because I was just like, just just put the book out. Or you know what? Don't put the book out. The book out. I don't care, you know? But now I'm excited for it again and it's getting close and I'm really excited to read Hollow Pox and my granny is too. So this is just a placeholder, but I will be using Hollow Pox to fit this prompt and I'm uh, very excited to read that. All right. Third and final roll. Fingers crossed if I get another five though. I'm gonna have to add another roll. <laughs> I got an eight. That's not a number we already had, so. Okay. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god, we just keep getting action cards. They're not getting any of the fun ones. So sad. So so sad. Okay. All right. Final prompt. This is going way too good. I'm really, really scared. All right. Here we go. Beautiful, beautiful prompts. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful prompts. I know they don't look that pretty. Some people put a lot of effort into their cards. I just didn't. We're going to pick this one. You see how it's sticking out? I'm so scared. I'm so scared. All right. This is uh, your family's visiting family pick. I literally had a feeling that it was going to be a family pick. Oh my god. All right. Uh, I got to get my mom for this one. I'm going to use my mom because she's in the other room. But next time if I get this pick again, I will I pick my dad or my granny or something like that. So let me go get my mom and set you guys up into a uh, good position and uh, she'll pick a book. Okay. So this is my shelves, right? And then if mom picks a... Uh, so, this is for November, okay? So, just uh, some books Granny and I have to read are Hollow Pox and Cumulosity's book number 8.5. But you don't have to pick those. Those aren't even on the shelf. Yeah, they don't come out to the end of October and, and mid-November. Have you read The Hazelwood? The Hazelwood? Yeah. So, Mom just asked if I've read The Hazelwood, which... I haven't. This is actually last time I had my mom pick a book. You picked this one, and I, I never did. read it. I never read it. Well, why do I keep picking it and you never read it? I'll read it this month, hopefully. Okay. All right. Fingers crossed. Is that what you needed from me? Yep. Thank you. I'll read it this time. Okay. Thanks, mom. You're welcome. And then the final prompt we got was. Uh, it's my, it was a book. It was my mom's turn to pick. So we got. Your family is visiting, it's time to clean a uh, family pick, right? So I went to my mom, and she picked from my shelf. And I was even like, Mom, it's a middle grade readathon. There's my middle grade shelf. 
and she didn't pick a middle grade. She picked a YA, I think. I think this is a YA fantasy, and even though I'm trying not to read a fantasy, um, I don't think I'm going to get to it this month. Uh, I'm going to tell you why in a second. But she picked The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert, and I don't know why she picked this, because, like, two months, two, two years ago, like, two years ago or something, um, I think it was before I got my new bookshelf, so it would be about two years. Um, she picked this for me to read, and I never read it. Uh, and so I don't know why she keeps coming back to this. <laughs> I don't know if it's like the spine or like what, because this is a really pretty book, but she can only see the spine. So I don't really know. But she picked this. I don't know what this is about. I know that it has a sequel called The Night Country that came out earlier this year. But I don't know if I'm going to get to this because November is really busy. I'm trying to participate in readathons, and this doesn't fit any of the readathon prompts because uh, it's not a middle grade, so therefore it won't fit any of the prompts. Um, so this is like my the one book that I don't know if I'm going to get to, but it's on here. And if I don't get to it in November, then it will be going on my December TBR. So don't worry. I really, I do want to read this because my mom picked it out and I feel like, you know, she keeps picking this book out so I feel like I need to read it. So, it's just time, right? Like, fate's over here, like, pushing me at it. Uh, so, yes. Alright, so these are the three books I got for the Life of TBR for November. But let me go over my Believeathon round three's TBR, or, like, yeah, with the prompts and everything. So if you don't know what Believeathon is, uh... It is a middle grade readathon that takes place over the entire month of November and it's hosted by Gavin from How to Train Your Gavin and the announcement video is stunning. If you haven't seen the announcement video, go check it out. It is gorgeous. I'll leave a link down below, but it is just so well done and it's like an entire story and uh, it's beautiful. So please go check out the announcement video because you definitely should. But let's uh, let's go over the books I'm reading for the prompts. So the first prompt is to read a mystery. And for this, I am doing a hollow pox because there is the mystery of the illness spreading to the animals or however you pronounce them. So I'm doing this book for that. The next book is to read a book of a different culture. I was gonna do Aru Shaw, but um, A, I don't own it, and B, I just, I'm not gonna get, I'm not, I'm not gonna get to it. I already know I'm not going to get to it, okay? Because three books is a stretch, right? Uh, but two of these on here, I'm going to be, have to read on my own, plus with writing, and plus with school. It's just, I don't, I don't, I don't foresee it, okay? Maybe next year, maybe believe it on round five, if he does a round four. Um, and like early next year, maybe then I'll read Aru Shah. We'll have to see, but I did want to get to it. I'm just not going to. Uh, the next book is to read a book aloud, and I'm going to do any of this, but I just put down hollow pox because like, why not? The next book is to read a supernatural element, and for this, I'm going to be reading my arc of Thornlight by Claire Legrand. I got this arc of a net, off of NetGalley, so thank you so much, NetGalley. But I don't know what this is about. It is a companion, it's a companion to Fox Trot. No, Fox Fire. Whatever came, it's a middle grade that came out in 2014 by Claire Legrand. I didn't know that this was a companion sequel, but thankfully you don't have to have read the first one, because if I did, I would not be getting to this in 2020. <laughs> now. Um, but it has unicorns on the cover, so I assume they're in the cup in the book. And there's also like witches, and those are supernatural. Okay, ask the Sims 3 supernatural pack. They have witches, therefore it's a supernatural. <laughs> the next one is to read an alternate world, and for this I'm doing Hollow Pox. I think any of the books would fit for this. I think Thornline, Hollow Pox, this one. And I'm like, I think all I think all the books I have in my TBR could fit for this, but I just put Hollow Pox because I felt pretty positive on that one. Uh, but now I'm kind of thinking that my best option would be a School for Good and Evil because I'm pretty like sure that it doesn't even have you. No, no, no. Wait, Hollow Pox has the Republics. I, I don't know. T Jessica's from Australia, I think, and so I don't know how that works. Okay. Uh, next prompt is features ghosts. 
I don't think I'm going to complete this one unless Thornlight or one of the other books just happen to have like a little ghosty pop up in like, like a sentence. Uh, then I don't think I'm going to get to it. But if one of these books just, I think the one that would have like would be like the most like possible one would be Hollow Pox because it's Nevermore, right? But I don't think Hollow Pox has ghosts in it. But you know, this would be the time to prove me wrong. Uh, <laughs> then I have read a book with a dangerous setting, and for this I'm using Thornlight. It literally has Net Galley subscription has dangerous in it, so we're gonna go with it. Um, a new to you author. I'm reading The School for Good and Evil. It fits right in with my TBR prompt, so I was like, what? Amazing. Uh, and then we have reading a book with a prominent villain. I was gonna go with Hollow Pox, but I I'm still kind of iffy on that. I mean, <laughs> blank says we do, but I don't really know. So I'm gonna do with Unlocked by Shannon Messenger because the Never Seen is a prominent villain, all right? They're very prominent. Uh, read a book with a beautiful cover. Unlocked by Shannon Messenger. Sweetie, it's pretty, right? Uh, it has it says beautiful, but I'm gonna do this one. This isn't my favorite cover, I don't think. Uh, but I don't know. Read a book with a colorful cast of friends. I picked Unlocked by Shannon Messenger. I don't know if it just meant like with a large cast or if it actually meant like colorful with like people of different skin tones, but I picked Unlocked just because I know that there is um, characters of color too, just because I wasn't sure for this one. Um, so yeah, <laughs> the next one is to incorporate folk tales. I don't know. Maybe the school for good and evil because like isn't it like a read like it's like a fairy tale retelling right so like like it's like a I don't I don't know that's I don't know and then to read a book first published in 2020 I could do hollow pox I could do unlocked um those are the I, I was gonna like go on but like those are the only two I wanted to have Maya and the Rising Dark by Rana Baron on this but. It's not going to happen. I feel so bad. I really, really want to read Maya and the Rising Dark. But um, it's just, I'm not going to get to it this month. Okay, I'm not going to add another book just to do it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fit a book that I already have my prompts down, my TBR or something like that. So, yeah, that's sad. I do want to read Maya really, really bad. But I'm going to go with, like, Hollow Pox or Unlocked or something. So, yeah. That is my believe -a -thon TBR that fits the prompts. I didn't, I'm not, I can't complete all of them. I can try, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so there we go. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe down below because I post videos on this channel every single Monday. Please comment down below what book you're most excited to be reading in November. I am most excited for Unlocked because uh, Keefe's point of view is in that. And as any YA reader knows, when a story is dual point of view, and these people aren't related, there is a very, 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 very large chance, like a 98% chance, that character A and character B, they're gonna date. And that just, that, that confirms the, the so keefy ship. It confirms it, okay? I didn't make the rules. But it confirms it. So I'm really excited for Unlocked. So what are you guys most looking forward to in November? I don't know how many books are being released. No how many books are being released in November? Probably a lot. But anyway, I'm going to go and uh, get ready for bed because I need sleep. So yeah. Anyway, I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed this. If you have any videos you would like to see on my channel, please comment them down below. And I hope you see us all next Monday for another video. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. I'm yawning. I'm tired. Bye, everybody. Ugh. I'm just, like, messing up my sleep schedule so bad. <laughs> and don't forget, I'm still a freaking bull.